a lot. Like, a whole lot. And Sky Rising gives us all nightmares because of his Machamp, and that's not a Machamp at all. That is a dog. Uh, I saw some wire. Well, anyway, someone keep going. So, we have two, um, sort of secondaries. I don't know where Decidueye sits in Fumu's roster, but it's pretty strong. Uh, Skyrise's is Lucario, I'd say, is pretty good. It, he definitely uses, uses, you know, like a variety instead of just relying on two wide cheese like some other Lucarios do. But, yeah, keeping his distance, Skyrise is. Blocking Decidueye is an incredibly strong counter. Counter trading. Not entirely sure if Boom was going for with that grab, but it did not work. Neither did Sucker Punch autocorrect. And I feel like the autocorrect on Sucker Punch is actually pretty mean sometimes. But he was too far away for Skyrise to do much about. And I think that was another Sucker Punch. Skyrise just murdered with his counter pierce as a counter. Eskidale <laughs> just now realizing that he's Skyrise is playing Lucario. And, and doing a pretty good job, I think. And I'm not entirely sure how this matchup goes for Decidueye. Fumu's making it work, though. We don't have to fight Lucario a ton, so it's like a little unfamiliar territory. But hey, it really helps you get some practice in, because he's a super strong character. Ah, that was interesting. So Lucario goes into the most fearsome character in the game, which is Lucario and Burst. <laughs> he tries to he did two whips on that. I think Fu was okay. Oh, no, he's not okay. That range. Two bursts that tilt me sideways versus each other. What will happen next? But now Lucario's burst is gone, so Fu was in better shape. But I apparently Aura Sphere is not a light or something. Maybe probably because he was in burst. So that's a that's a thing to watch out for. It, yeah, it didn't click in my brain that Aura Sphere is going to knock it out until I like oh Lucario's stone burst. Never mind. Lucario taking his first field phase with uh his back Y. Fumu trying to get a nice counter off and it's interesting that extreme speed is uh, being counter and all, but it is super fast. It's called extreme speed after all. Lucario's getting a nice reset into the wall. What will Fumu do? I'm not. This field exchange is interesting because I, I don't watch it a lot. Lucario seems to have a lot of like things that keep him in his safe space, like back wide and like side wide at, at the right distance, of course. And uh, Decidueye kind of does, but things like Spirit Check will bring him in closer. Anyway, so Dive Bomb, which is, I just now learning is unsafe, takes field phase, and then Fumu puts him back into field phase. But Skyrise he can't use his support, which isn't charged yet anyway. Oh, I, I'm looking at the thing backwards, I apologize. We still can't use the support. Two bursts. Half of Sky Raisin's pressure is now gone, thanks to burst being gone. Oh no! Burst, of course, not being frame one defensible or anything, will be stuffed. Oh no. Slight technical difficulty. Uh, trying to figure out why this monitor is being not friendly. While Fumu switches to Blaziken. I don't know, I felt like this Sejirai overall might have been a stronger character, but of course Fumu's Blaziken is like a force to be reckoned with. I mean, it wrecked me out of bracket and all. Alright, Fumu getting into a corner and it's not good. Unfortunately, you cannot cheese over Lucario's uh, counter like that. Lucario getting amazing damage, although half of it was probably stuff Fumu did to himself. There we go. 
kicking Lucario into the ground with his beautiful chicken legs. Sky is in taking the ground. However, Fuma's going to blaze kick him pretty hard. And see, like, I feel like everyone in Nebraska is not doing this special cheese I hear about where you can, like, duck the last second hit of Blaziken. I don't know if Lucario can, but, like, that's a thing. And, uh, I personally not good at doing it, but it's a thing. I don't know, can Lucario do it? Something we need to look up later. Boom, making use of that stance. And how hard is Drake Blaziken? And catches the whiffed extreme speed into a wall combo. Good job. <laughs> Sorry to say, it didn't want to be a dual phase anyway. Oh gosh, what was that grab? That was a, supposed to be some kind of fake out and it did not work. Alright, I don't know what Skyrim thought he was going to accomplish, but it might have been accomplished. And now he has some space, which now he doesn't have, because he was going to apply some... Apparently, I, th I, th I thought it was going to be shield pressure and it was more like respect, and he doesn't... He can just do that, because he's in burst, and Lucario can't really anti-air him out of burst, unless he's got like... Unless he is either in burst or has an attack buff or something. So that's that's what I fear about Blaziken, is Blaziken can just go ham if you can't knock him out of the air. But anyway... Whoa! Alright, extreme speed combo, doing some modest damage, frankly. Fumo back into a wake-up situation. Fumo is lovely at getting out of the corner, though. Alright, that does not catch the Kyra's dive kick. Uh, going back into field is a blessing and curse, because now there's more room to work with. Tricky, tricky exchange. Fumo, yeah, making some space, you can use that EV, get some health back, before he burns it right back up into Lucario. Lucario doing super crazy crisscross from far across stage. And we'll take that game. <laughs> Alright, no changes for the last round. It's pretty good. Now, unfortunately for us, Skyrizen isn't pushing any, like, terribly unsafe buttons. But, of course, that's fortunate for him, because he's doing pretty well. Uh, that would have been questionable if Fumu had been able to block it. As was that side Y, I think. Fumu, of course, knowing his character, swishes the spin chicken backward a little bit beyond range and finds himself in a dual phase bone rush combo with back into field phase. Oh, the sky isn't trying to hold. Good bait. Interesting frog deer combo because who has been doing like you know the like, quote unblockable cheese for a while. Uh, questionable extreme speed, but it, it did not work. Who now has a combo into the wall. Lucario is still not in rage yet, which is kind of nice for him because he have to deal with the Lucario damage. Who is now in rage, and now he's not. This game, this gray health is interesting. They both got burst. I didn't want him to know. Okay, no burst this round. If I'm not mistaken, Fumo usually uses a, a cheer skill that gives him synergy. No, maybe I'm wrong. That eh, maybe I'm right. He loves that synergy. Interesting exchange. Alright, burst versus burst. Now, the current blaze goes, has to show some respect now because Lucario can anti air him. Or that. But the bright side, the silver lining is, you can do that again now. Now, Fumu just has to put some pressure on Lucario, possibly get his burst out. Jumps beautifully over that silly Aura Sphere full level 4 thing. Gets some nice shield break on Lucario. It's not gonna combo, but it'll do some chip and give him a speed boost before his burst runs out, which is a very, very good idea. Go over the 2Y! Take it to victory. Sky is doing his victory game pretty well. Now they both have speed boost. This is silly. There we go. Pierce that counter. I don't know. He gave him a lot more space than I would have thought you probably should have as a Blaziken. Versus Lucario. I think Lucario theory, not confirmed or anything, 
The car probably does better in long spaces than Blaziken does, because Blaziken you can just anti-air it. Unless you don't hit the anti-air button, then that happens. Of course, if you do, the Fumu would grab me when I tried it. That was sad. Now, this game is tied up. Fumu is sitting at full burst. Skyrim will probably get it. Lucario is pretty good at this stuff. Uh, glides over... I don't know what that was, but he went over it. I cannot go over the... That Lucario move. Apologize, I don't know the buttons. I should. Sorry, going over... Or, Fuma going over R is fear. Extreme speed beating on virtually anything Fuma does, because he couldn't fear the counter from that uh, position. So I guess that's probably why... Now I see why Fuma's not going super ham, because Lucario, while he can't use his regular anti airs has extreme speed as long as they're in duel. Uh, yeah, Fuma's... Now, I'm not entirely sure that was supposed to be a burst call or a frogadier, but I like the frogadier kind of, because he was in a position that was okay to use it. Like, he, he obviously had enough time to block, so that was helpful. But his HP is being depleted, as is Sky Reasons, because these sky, er, blaze kicks hurt. And especially in those sp tiny, tiny frame er, block fr er, drop blocking frames. Those look at. Is coming from the lose bracket. This guy just needs to win one more, and Fubu still needs to win like five. Of course, he can do it. There we go. Catch. Fumu hesitates a little bit on the counter, so this guy catches that. There we go. This guy is trying to get those grabs, thinking he's been champ. Does not. Say gets a wall combo. Alright. Wonderful job, Fumu, catching those vulnerable frames. The wata ta ta ta. Again, I don't know, but. Sky is in an incredibly good shape. Who, of course, can bring it back. What on earth was that button that Sky Risen just pushed? I don't know, but it was a counter and it was grabbed. Alright, interesting exchange. Two whiffs. Uh, that was the reverse of what happened earlier. And Sky Risen will take that round. One round away from taking the set. But we can totally bring this back. He did it earlier, he can do it again. He's got both safety frog and burst. Alright, Fumu deciding not to cheese grab this, which is smart because Skyrim is onto this. Alright, watch out the not quite catching. Option select also not happening, but you know, that's pretty nice too. Into a wall combo attack down, that's always ne uh, useful. And I believe the space is to respect extreme speed, I'm not sure, but it's working out for him a little bit. Now, the fact that Skyrim has attack down is a blessing. I do not... would not want to deal with Lucario's first right now. Unfortunately, that attack down fades away pretty quickly. Good job. I'm trying to bait that burst out, if it was. And that is not by any means a true punish. But, oh, fancy combo! Not sure that was gonna complete... Boom, we're not gonna yield over us, respect that. Guys are down to 1 HP. One false move. Okay, 61 HP. So a couple false moves. There we go. Dive kick. We'll take that round. Boom on his way to resetting this uh, grand finals match. <laughs> Tries to respect Scaries and a little too much and decides to block and do a grab. Okay, I'm not sure about that 5x. Looked like it was like maybe punishable that he's far away. I don't think it is actually. I'm sorry. Interesting. Sky uppercut catching Lucario's attempt to hit him. Fumu got to deal with a wake up situation and deals with it wonderfully by ninjaing around Lucario's moves in the field. Unfortunately, cannot get over Lucario's counter with the that height. Alright, see. I can really do this because this is where I use Dragonite to just get them out of my face. 
so I can apply pressure at the wall and do stuff like that. Quick of grab, which Fumu has not done like this entire set as far as I can tell. Skarizen is down two, one small hit and gets hit and Fumu will take another game in this grand finals. Will Skyraisin stay dog? Technical difficulties! Um, I'm sure the, su the suspense is killing you all, but you'll just have to wait a little bit longer. Uh, sounds like something weird that's going on with the controller that, like, supposedly just started. That's weird. Yeah. All right, so Foo's stuck being chicken, but He's allowed to change controllers! It's still gonna be the Hori pad, but it's a better one, it looks like, or one that's being less weird. I'm not sure what's going on. Something's being plugged in. I wonder if it's gonna get cut later. But if I start saying bad words, it'll be cut later. Alright, continuing the series of Fumu vs. Sky Reason. Let's see, Sky Reason was allowed to change, Fumu wasn't, but there are no changes. As far as I can tell, I was not paying attention to support just yet, we'll find out. Yep, nothing new there. Yep, no, no changes whatsoever. Fumu's sticking to his EV. Skyrim isn't respecting this counter exchange. Fumu taking field, er, field, yeah. Alright. Skyrim isn't not doing much about what to ta 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 I don't know if he can for his Lucario. He probably could have e-spaded it, maybe? I'm not sure. Alright, Bone Rush not catching vulnerables. Blaze Kicks get stuffed out by regular cannon. Regular base kick gets. You know what? You saw that. Oh, Brave Bird! Too brave. There we go. Oh my god, I need to quit talking. I think he can hear me. Alright. Decent thing about Blaze King's counter, it is at least fast enough. Maybe it's not the fastest, but. There we go. Dive kick. Cheesing Lucario's counter like that. Oh, yeah, that, that makes up for me talking too loud about anti-airing stuff. Oh no! It's gonna catch Fumu. Again, this is, this is sometimes my sigh of relief because then I don't have to fear this blast burst anymore after that. And fortunately for Fumu, he took that with burst armor, whatever defense, so it didn't do as much as it could have. Fumu can go a little bit ahead, but he's already got a burst! He's going for that speed boost! And that chip, mostly the speed boost, this chip's kind of modest. Keep on countering and it'll eventually work because I won't suspect it. I'm getting himself. Okay. Almost got himself cornered, but he comes out of his corner. Some 
crazy blaze kicks. Interesting. Try to empty air that. Dive bomb is going to burst through Lucara's counter. Fumu is one set away from resetting this. Sky Reason is now one set away from taking the bracket and letting us all go home. I like Fumu though, I, I hope he does well. Of course I like Skyries, I'm not biased. Anyway, so Fumu's taking that field. Slap kick from Blaziken. Some very deja vu situation, Blaziken sitting on full burst. Homing mix ups. No, I can't, I never really know. Skyrizen is really good at catching Fumu, like dive bombing. But Fumu actually does the, the reverse and catches Skyrizen. Gonna get that speed before his burst runs out and actually manages to survive all of the carriers burst without, get, without Skyrizen activating the burst attack, which is awesome because that's super stressful. Will he? Oh, he's just one one hit away from resetting this. Unless Lucario sums up a bunch of health out of nowhere. There we go. Fumu resetting the bracket. Alright, so uh, this very actual last round, and then we can go home. <laughs> exactly. Fumu summoned a wall. Absolute last set in this freaking tournament. I didn't even have to say. We see the Machamp come back. On Skyrim's inside. Now this, of course, being a free bracket. I don't know if I'm allowed to say the nickname on stream. It sounds a little funny. Uh, I'm sure Skyrim was working on his dog. But uh, he's come bring back the champ. He's trained both of them. The champ versus Blaziken is not fun. Blaziken, unless that was just one C of this just keeps going. These exchanges are just like canceling each other out for like a good ten seconds. It's crazy. That seemed like it did way less damage than I would have thought. And Fumu's sitting with Krogunk. I don't know what Blaziken benefits much from Krogunk. I mean, yeah, because Skyrim's got so much HP, he can just walk through that defensive debuff. And, I mean, I take that back. That did a lot to him. But, uh, the defense debuff was definitely helping out Fumu for the damage, but... Machamp does so much, and now he's in rage, it's just... it's super deadly. Guys are taking round one. Sharing some knowledge back there about highs and things that are not highs. Alright, Fumu breaking that counter. I believe Flare Blitz, maybe. Trick Skyrim into a counter. Personally, I'm always afraid to counter Blaziken because, you know, it does get broken all the time. But I, I also lose the Blaziken, so I could be wrong. 
Alright, Umu is just playing merry-go-round right now. That was a lovely, lovely bait though for Fumu. And <laughs> Scarlet is just like, I knew it was a bad idea. It is HP. It did great damage on anybody else. Now my champ counters Greybird into Cross Chop. That's not gonna kill, is it? Nope, that's nowhere near it. But the wall split damage probably doesn't ignore the close combat. What are we gonna do? Playing more sideways footsies? Boom has Krogunk, but again, I'm not sure what good it's gonna do him at this point. Trying to wear my champ down with Chip. But wears down his own HP with all that burning fire, and Skyers will take the first game of this absolute last set of this bracket before we get to go home. Right, we're bringing it to and uh, it's kind of blurry how well this did earlier. Definitely did pretty good. YOLO spirit check, I'll take the first hit. And the field phase change. My champ's a uh, lovely high counter going to catch Decidueye in the air. And a crazy dive bomb exchange. Mission enhanced mission going right through that. Crazy fist going to catch the situa. Oh, okay. Now I. This that was just silly. That was incredibly silly. That last hit. Everything else kind of made sense. That Champ is a wrecking machine, but that last hit was incredibly silly. <laughs> Aries is not happy about like getting hit by the same thing again and trying something new. And also not happy that he doesn't have a bulk up. Okay. So we're getting respecting him enough to not long enough for Machape to get a bulk up. Alright, sucker punch catching, but you know it wasn't a crit, so it's only gonna do so much. Sidroy's incredible counter catching some of Machamp's jabs. And now he's actually like caught up in HP uh, deficit. Burst versus burst, what will we see? Oh no! That was dangerous. So dangerous. For everybody. Mostly Fumu, but it worked. Fumu's still in great shape, but this Togekiss is gonna make things tricky. Uh, like, it didn't really stall much, because, yeah, I mean, timer stops when you try to get first animation, but is that going to take it? That takes it! <laughs> Fumu says, uh, nah, I do have been a burser. <laughs> Fumu mashing buttons to get this. Very powerful tool right here. So if you can find out how to cheese the situated block strings, this is this is a bearable matchup. Of course, depending on your character, I imagine. Alright. That counter slam going to wreck and Alphum was in a scary position. Skies and we'll take the second game. I heard, I heard Blades of Glory, and of course I can't see Fumu's screen. He's not gonna... Okay. I think maybe he said Blaze. I can't hear. I have headphones on. 
So, Boo Boo is now locked in Blaziken for as long as this site remains, which isn't a bad thing for him because he is a super strong Blaziken. I don't know what they're talking about over there. Things are difficult. Oh, just barely misses the, uh, yeah. Some crazy spacing going on, but Sky isn't gets this lovely combo. Uses up his bulk up. Pumu isn't doing so bad, but speed buff is a little painful right now. Pumu trying to be careful. It seems like the only way Pumu gets out of the corner is when he like does a blaze kick. That is it. Okay, so I see what happened. But Shape's um, counter thing must have cut those multiple frames off of the blazing counter. Oh no! Double jab, fake out. Thinking that he would go for submission or something, which would have sucked because he had enhanced submission. Okay, Sky is taking a very powerful lead in this move around. Kuma catching that end of that fist. His foot. Sky is respecting these blaze kicks, just. Barely pushing the champ out of grab range. Unfortunately, I'm sure Sky is going to take notes of that. But Boomba gets a wall combo. And yes, gets this attack down, which is totally going to help. Probably stalling out burst a little bit. Cannot stall out for too long because now <gasps> the champ is so against. Going to punish that cross shot because that was not spaced correctly or something. Try and stall with burst. So I, I noticed the timer doesn't go down, but their burst meter does go down, which is good for a here. Alright. The champ shield's almost gone. There we go, it's gone. But is this going to be enough? Pumu just hanging on to his last his HP with that Eevee. <laughs> like they were each one hit away from the set. Or round, I'm sorry. Now this is the last round of this game. Who will take it? It okay. I look. I blink for one second and Puma gets a grab. That's insane. Puma catching these vulnerable frames into a wall combo does not get the attack down, but he's still in a really good shape right now. All right, Sky is just trying to wait for him to push the button. That is not going to help him much. Alright, barely catches him on that slam right there. Togek is gonna help him out. To not get hit by stuff like that. Maybe to run away from his burst. I don't know who has got. Who always uses his burst just to get that speed boost. But for me, he can block. And unless you can totally call out what he's gonna do, it, there's almost nothing you can do about it. Alright, Fubu going to take that game. Game three of the absolute last set before we can go home. Going to keep saying it until we're going off. <laughs> trying to psych Skyrim into watching anime, and that's, that's not a good idea. It's dishonorable. Don't do that to your locals. Trying to figure out what Fumu's gonna do. Try and catch vulnerables does not work. Fumu counters through them. Through his hits. Right, Fumu trying to stay in the air to get away from these grabs. Gets caught. Oh, okay. Skyrim and Sykes seem to be countering. This guy is in counter cancels a lot, at least so it seems. And I'm sure Fumu was banking on that earlier. But it doesn't matter, because Fumu is now catching up. But he's also burning through his HP at an alarming rate. Sitting on full burst now, this guy is in sub one set. Oh, 
Skok guy. Sky isn't taking the first field phase, but very good punch. Oh, right, that was okay. So I guess the thing is because you know the whole synergy wave blast transformation, blah blah blah. Yeah, Fumu was definitely plus at that point. I hope, or I'm wrong. It's an interesting technique. Various ways that characters can um, just go through the synergy blast and not be stunned. And I feel like that was totally an accident because. Yeah, it had to be, because he did it first. Moving on! So Fumu now has an attack and a speed buff. Skyrizen tries the submission all the way from across town. That definitely does not work. Nor does countering Fumu's uh, blaze kick. I don't think that was the counter piercing one. That might have just been the. That was a counter piercing one. And it burned through his HP. Fortunately, no, Fumu was hanging in there. Obsessive. Alright. Now, I think they're both probably one combo away, so I mean... Oh. Get away. Just getting down slowly and slowly and slowly and slowly and why were you punching his counter? You just said... <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> this is the... Okay, final number. <laughs> Round of this game. I don't know why. It's too late. Everything's funny now. <laughs> okay, so Fuma rolls away from that grab. Skyrim that tries to use his burst gets pushes Fuma away. So Fuma now is probably not in a position where he can YOLO use his burst to get the speed boost because he's too far away. Like I said, but Champ's gonna sit here with his own speed boost from Togekiss. Going away slowly. Puma's kind of working out for him through those vulnerable frames. Uh, he's he's really getting some mileage off these vulnerable frames right now, and gets a I think it was a crit grab, maybe I'm crazy. Spin chicken going to take field. Puma's like one hit away from taking this uh, set, but Machamp. All right, Machamp is enraged. Like, oh no, that is punishable. Is that it? It's still not it. That is it. That is. I. I uh, well, this is a free bracket, and that was Skies and Things 3 1 in the last game of this bracket before we can go home. Now they're shaking hands like wonderful people, because everyone here is a wonderful person. Everyone watching this is a wonderful person. And, uh, yeah. I'm going to ha hop off the mic, and uh, unless, and I don't know, someone else is probably going to close the stream down and stuff. I'll uh, see y'all later.